Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing our September favorites. I don't have too much this month, but it's all really good stuff. So let's dive right in. I have one fail too. I figured I would include some fails in my videos if I happen to have one. There's one that's pretty popular that I wanted to talk about that just didn't work out for me. So if you wanna see favorites and fails this month, then just keep watching. Starting off with favorite makeup, I don't think this will come as a surprise to you if you're watching the one tutorial I did testing new makeup. And this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder. This underneath my eyes is incredible. This is my go-to powder for underneath the eyes. It just brightens everything up and smooths it out. I have troughs, everyone does, but I have very significant troughs underneath my eyes and this just helps lift that area and just brighten it up. And you can see in that video, if you haven't watched it already, I'll put a little timestamp in here. You can go check it out in that video if you just wanna to skip to that part, but this is a noticeable difference. So if you watch that video, of course, this doesn't come as a surprise. I absolutely love this powder and it works out so nicely for me. I don't care for it all over the face as much. I think it looks a little bit dry, but for my under eyes, nothing beats this for me. Then I also fell in love with this concealer from Maybelline. I love the Superstay line that they carry. Their liquid lipsticks, foundation, the powder, and now concealer. I just love everything that they come out with for this line. It just works for my skin. Maybelline just does it for me. Maybelline, I think, makes the best concealers at the drugstore. I don't think I found one that I don't like. I love the Fit Me, the Age Rewind, all favorites of mine. And I use 20 Sand. It is their full coverage under eye concealer. This gives insane coverage. This kind of reminds me of Shape Tape, but in a better packaging for me. A little squeezy with a precise applicator. Just love this product. So I've been using this most days. I do my concealer now. It's been working out really well for me when I'm using full coverage foundation. So that one, go to. And I have a bunch of lip products. The first is from Nabla Cosmetics in Nolita. And this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's just a beautiful reddish brown. It looks more brown in the tube more red on my lips. This is one of my go-to fall colors. I love this color. And I had a request to film my fall lipstick video. If you guys wanna see that, let me know. I thought it would be a good idea, but this is one of those colors that I just think is perfect for fall because it has that brown, that red. I think this would just be beautiful on any skin tone. I just love the tone of it. I just think it's so perfect, especially for fall. So this has been a go-to fall lipstick, but I'll definitely do an entire video dedicated to fall lips if you guys wanna see that. The last lip product, which is more everyday, easy to wear, the L'Oreal Color Riche Plump and Shines. So I really like these four. The other two are good too, but I just reach for these four the most. I love Lychee Plump, Coconut Plump, Nectarine Plump, and Blue Mint Plump. I'm gonna show you the blue because this sort of scared me at first, but it doesn't show up like that when you swatch it. It just has this beautiful sheen to it and just gives that blue tint. So this over top of lipsticks is really pretty on its own. It has a little bit of that blue tint to it, but I just feel like it's more brightening than anything, especially since it's sheer over top of my lips, which are super pigmented. I just think it's a beautiful color to add on for every day. These do have a little bit of plumping to them, which I absolutely love. I love the Color Shine line from L'Oreal and I'm so happy they have plumping ones now. So I have been using these on a daily. I love the formula, super comfortable. On the lips, easy to wear, throw on, and that's my favorite kind of lip, something easy to use. Then I have a bunch of eyeshadow palettes. I feel like there's so many eyeshadow palettes releasing that this isn't that surprising that I love so many for this video and I'm going to start off with the one that took me by surprise the most are these palettes from The Balm. They're the Petal to the Metal Cream Eyeshadow Palettes and I used this in the testing new makeup. Initially, I wasn't interested in these but you guys wanted to see me play around with them and I'm so happy I did. The more colorful one is actually even more beautiful than the neutral. When I swatch these for you guys, they're just so pretty and they don't crease or flake off or anything weird. They're actually a really good cream formula. When I initially just saw them in the pan, they just look kind of meh 
to me. They just didn't catch my interest, but on the eyes, these are so pretty. And I'm so happy you guys encouraged me to try these out because these became a favorite of mine. I don't see full on cream eyeshadow palettes ever. So this is very unique for me. I don't have anything like this in my collection, which is nice. I have something brand new that I can use and play around with. So those I've been getting a ton of use out of. And then I wasn't interested in this either. <laughs> when it first launched, it's the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette but actually using this is perfect for every day for me. The only thing is I don't feel like you can create too many different looks. They all look very similar in my opinion, but for me, I just like to kind of change up the crease color, which these have, and that kind of switches up my look for me if I want it a little warmer, darker. It just has a bunch of really great mattes, and obviously the shimmers in here are pretty stunning. So I know a lot of people are using that honey shade, which is the star of the palette, and I do think this is perfect for every day. I don't think you need it. You probably have colors like this in your collection, but for easy every day, and it's already in one palette, this has been great for me. So I have been really enjoying it, surprisingly. The brush is out of here because I was just washing it, but I like the brush too. So that has been working out really well. And also this palette, if you're into more color, fallen in love with this and been creating so many cool looks. This is the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival XL Pro Palette from Stacey Marie Makeup Artist. She did a collaboration with Be Perfect. I love the tones in this. As soon as Norvina from ABH released all her palettes, I wanted to pick those up, but I kept looking at this one and I'm like, I already have the colors. And I love how this is set up. You have some shimmers over here you can use on the face. You can use them on the eyes if you want as well. But the rows, they're just so complimentary and it's just easy to see a color family and use that kind of color for your eyes. So I just find this very user-friendly. It's very pleasing to my eye and the colors blend so nicely, super pigmented and just I have nothing bad to say about it. When I want to go out of my comfort zone and really create something cool, I've been reaching for this. I've been so happy with the formula. One fragrance I have been loving. This came in the mail. I received it in PR, but haven't had a chance to talk about it yet on my channel. I've used quite a bit considering I've just recently got it. I had to mention because if you guys follow my fragrance recommendations, you're probably curious as my thoughts on the new YSL Libra fragrance, which this is, and I love it. I think it's perfect for the season we're going into for fall and winter. It's a musky floral, which I personally really, really like. And I just think it smells super sophisticated and just beautiful on the skin. This is the kind of fragrance that has a lot of power to it, but it's not overpowering. So this will linger on my clothes. And even when I smell my shirt the next day, I can still smell it on me. Nothing that would irritate me because I'm pretty sensitive to really strong fragrance. But this one is like a soft strong, if that makes sense. It's just really beautiful. I'll put the notes on the screen for you guys, but I definitely recommend checking this out if you like fragrances similar to me. I've been very, very happy with this one and the bottle is just beautiful. This is a new brand that is at Beautylish and they actually sent me a box to try their products. And this is Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. It's a fairly affordable brand at Beautylish, which is really nice. And this is formulated with sea buckthorn oil, camellia oil, and shea butter. And this has just been really nice to take off my makeup. I love balms like this, and this is definitely more affordable than the Biotherm one I like, the Clinique Instant Off. This doesn't irritate your eyes because the Clinique one I do find can sting. This one's actually quite gentle on the skin, but very effective. So it doesn't hurt or sting my eyes. It comes with a little scoop you can use and you can barely see it because it's white, but I've been using it for when I double cleanse. I always go in with a balm or oil first. This isn't as messy as an oil because it just kind of melts into the skin and I love it. Good price too, good ingredients. So I've been really happy with that. For my second cleanse, I've been using the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser for normal to dry skin and I got this at Shoppers. They had it on sale, it was super cheap at the time. Always heard great things about CeraVe and I needed to purchase a new cleanser. So I decided to go with this one and I love how it feels on my skin. It's very cooling on my skin when I use it and I feel like it does a really great job at cleansing my skin. So it's definitely something that I would recommend. Affordable, you can get at the drugstore if you're looking for something effective and affordable, which is kind of the direction I'm going. I'm really trying to find more affordable things with makeup, skincare, 
I just love finding very effective, affordable things. <laughs> and then my one fail, which I'm so sad about, this was in my foundation battle video. It's the Fenty foundation and I'm so sad about this, but I had to mention it as a fail because the more I use it, the more <laughs> I dislike it. <laughs> it just makes my skin look super dry and this is their hydrating longwear foundation and it literally is the opposite for me. It looks so dry on my skin and it just doesn't hold up well on me. So this, unfortunately, I will be returning to Sephora. I rarely have to return things and I need to go there to return this, but it was a fail for me, unfortunately. I do much prefer the original formula that was more geared towards oily skin, even though I'm more normal to dry. That one works better for my skin, but that one also breaks me out. <laughs> I just haven't had too much success with the Fenty foundation for long-term use. They just haven't been working out well for me, unfortunately, even though I love all the other products that I've tried in the line. So that is everything for my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you have been loving for the month of September. I would love to know. I'll see you guys in my next video. 